Do you carry around a lot of baggage? This is my bag from Muji. And yes, this is huge. I tried to fold it and it kind of reminded me of how a lot of times we have those Ikea bags that are really difficult to fold. And you try to fold it, try to fold it, try to fold it. And you're looking for the original crease of the bag, that original piece that maybe when you kind of think of it as a metaphor of you, you're like, God, I know it's in here somewhere. I know that I can fold this bag the way that it was originally folded. But really, it's not the same bag anymore. Maybe it has been used, maybe it has been abused, maybe it has just been stretched out too much and isn't as thin as it used to be. But then you get it kind of back into the regular form that you had it in when you first bought it. Bam. And you think, yeah, that's pretty good. Except for one thing. Everything that you have changed about your life, everything that you have purchased in your life or even done as experiences in your life, they should be in that bag. Just like you, your whole self, should take your whole self into every different opportunity. You shouldn't have to fold yourself up, make yourself thin, and not be who you really are. So sometimes you gotta get in the bag. And yes, some of you might be sticking out of the bag, but if you look a little deeper, you might find a little more room. So the next time someone asks you to leave things outside, take them with you. You'll need them.